Ano na? Again, uh, actually, December is a time when retailers either make money mm. or lose money. Mm -hmm. And it is not different this year. Um, if you go to any retail shop this today, actually, and mm. yesterday, there are a lot of queues. So, yes, there has been growth from last year, say 10, 15 percent. Um, and it's been, it's been good for the mm -hmm. retailers, including Tuskies. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Of course, Tuskies has been attempting to make some changes when it comes to opening up new stores, uh, rebranding some of its stores. And um, one of the recent uh, deals you've entered in is with Vivo Energy. Tell us about this. Um, that's very interesting. Uh, the Vivo Energy partnership with Tuskies is very good for two reasons. One, um, Tuskies, we were looking for a way to roll out stores more quickly than we normally do, mm. um, to expand faster. Um, and more cost effective, meaning that we don't want to spend a lot of money on, on expansion. Mm -hmm. So Vivo Energy already has uh, about 150 stations in Kenya and they are expanding quickly, putting in more. And so what we have done is to agree with them that we are going to take over some of their locations, um, the retail stores within Shell. Um, and we are going to do about 75 um, in the next uh, four or five years. Uh, in 2016 alone, we are going to open 10 of those small stores. Uh, this year we have done two, which are doing very well. Mm -hmm. In fact, uh, we are excited that uh, for the first time, we have seen a retail store uh, break even in the first month when it's open. Mm -hmm. and, and usually that happens in about six months. Uh -huh. So it's a very good model. Um, we think that uh, it is sustainable. And uh, we are giving value to customers, you know, mm -hmm. convenience, um, shopping as you go home, uh, your milk, your bread, and home basics, top-up shopping, and, and that's a, uh, very good for customers as well. Looking at this particular strategy you have, mm -hmm. you're targeting to scale up at uh, petrol station level, and uh, of course competition is not sleeping. We've also seen other outlets like uh, Nakumat and Naivas, where you previously used to work, um, also trying to drive up their strategies are you worried that uh, at some point they'll catch up? Um, interestingly now, we are seeing the retail market uh, segmenting so that everybody has their own customers. It's actually a very big market. Um, so you've got the, the masses, all Kenyans, where, where task is placed. Then you've got the, what you would call the high end, or the rich Kenyans, where some of our competitors uh, play. Uh, so we think that uh, there is a space for everyone. Um, including the international retailers who are trying to come into Kenya. There is space for everyone. Mm -hmm. And uh, if I give you interesting statistics, only 30% of Kenyans shop in uh, supermarkets or formal modern retail. 70% mm -hmm. of Kenyans still shop um, in dukas, in informal kiosks, mm -hmm. uh, particularly in the countryside, mm -hmm. if, and uh, what you would call the slum areas around big cities. Yes. And uh, Tuskies has been the number one uh, supermarket that recruits those people into formal shopping from the informal. And we will continue to do so. That has been our strategy. Mm -hmm. So you will see us going into informal areas um, to bring a store, a modern store, into an informal area. Mm -hmm. A good example is what we have now done in uh, Gong. We've brought in a store that has changed the face of Gong um, and moved so many people from in shop informal shopping to, uh, to formal shopping which happened last month. Um, we did the same in Narok, just about a year ago. And you know, people say Maasai don't shop in uh, supermarkets. But now we are seeing that Narok is uh, actually one of our fastest uh, growing stores in terms of uh, footfall. So it's not about going for the 30% who are already converted in terms of uh, retail shopping. Mm -hmm. It's going for the 70%. That's where we see what you'd call the, the blue ocean. Mm -hmm. um, and Tusky's strategy is to go for, for that. With respect to our partnership with, the, with Shell, uh, what, is a, what is the thing around there? Is people are sometimes tired to go and queue for 30 minutes, uh, to enter a mall, then do shopping for another 30 minutes, and then try getting out another 20 minutes, which is almost one hour, uh, just to buy bread and milk. So what we are doing now is to give customers an option 
uh, even though you do your your big shopping monthly in the in the mall mm -hmm. you can do your top up shopping in Tuskies um, at the Shell petrol station and we are going to open many of those around residential areas uh, in Nairobi so that people have many options when they want to shop mm -hmm. so it's not the competition is there yes we accept um, but there's going to be exciting innovation by all the players who want to survive mm -hmm. uh, to deliver value to customers uh, who then will continue to uh, to come into those stores and um, looking at the other market that is fast emerging is that 24-hour shopping niche um, I know for task is you yet to expand on that front any plans around that um, it's been very interesting I've seen um, in the last two months or so our competitors have actually closed some of their retail 24-hour stores um, we have one store in CBD, which is called Tuskis Chap Chap CBD, that runs 24 hours. And it's, for us, it's a very growing business. It's, it's growing very fast this month and, and last guys, month. Are guys really shopping at night? Yes. But uh, let me tell you why, what it is about. It is impossible to run a mall, a big store, um, for 24 hours, late into the night, because people will not come and buy furniture. You will not go and buy um, a sofa set at 3 a.m. or 4 a.m. Mm -hmm. The shopping you see is people come in to buy um, airtime, milk, uh, bread, mm -hmm. things like that around the food Just area. Households. Yes, mm -hmm. uh, very simple household, but the traffic is there. So task is strategy. It significant. It is significant. It is significant. If it were not significant, we would not be running task CBD chap chap uh, 24 hours. Mm -hmm. So for us, we actually um, looking for opportunities uh, where we think there is enough footfall to op actually open more of those 24-hour uh, stores. And um, CBD is a good example that it's a sustainable model. Mm -hmm. yeah. Of course, Tuskies has hit the headlines in 2015 for a number of reasons, one of them being uh, the family tussle around the ownership and uh, who makes the decisions. You're coming into a family business that we have the brothers having uh, deep-seated interests has this affected the way you run task kids? Um Actually, th there are many stories of 2015 in, in the business scene in Kenya. But for me, the biggest story in the business scene is that a family that has run a business for 40 years has finally or has decided to hand over that business to professionals to run. For me, um, task is being one of the biggest uh, startup and uh, local b uh, company in Kenya, that's a big story. Uh, it's now eight months since I took over as CEO, mm -hmm. and I've had a lot of support uh, from the family. Um, uh, if you look at what we, we've been able to do in that time, is first of all, we have now, uh, other than myself, uh, been able to bring on other five mm -hmm. general managers who report to me and who are not family members. Mm -hmm. um, you've seen that we've been able now to uh, pro totally professionalize the way the business is run. Um, in fact, now we've got uh, um, more. We've got more connection with the with the employees because now um, there is a lot of uh, merit in the way the promotions and uh, employee management is done. Um, how, we've about been the, how about the kickbacks? The kickbacks when it comes to suppliers. Yeah, uh, I'll speak about that. Mm -hmm. um, let me just finish about the employees. Mm -hmm. Last month we were able to introduce commissions monthly commissions for performance. And we are paying uh, in the region of three to five million shillings every month to employees. And, and these are not, the, it's not CEO, it's not CEO or CFO. Mm -hmm. It's the people on the shelves, the guys who serve people on the shelves, the cashier, um, the people parking behind the cashiers. Those are the guys who are earning commissions. Actually, um, last month, I had eight guys from Tuskis Kakamega um, who are on the foodstuff section earning 60,000 everybody each of them 60,000 uh, commission for good performance of that store that month and that's great news for me um, because we are now starting to connect performance with with uh, with the uh, end result or what uh, people take home and that's a nice thing um, you asked a question about kickbacks mm -hmm. uh, around uh, supplies and all that mm -hmm. Which, which also bedeviled the likes of Uchumi. Yes. Um, Have you been able to address this? Yes. Um, th that's a big problem, uh, particularly. It's not a, a tax problem. How serious was it? 
for task is is not being serious mm -hmm. because the owners of the business have actually been dealing with um, the the supplies themselves mm -hmm. all this time um so for 40 years so the the kickbacks did not actually come to to that kind of uh, systemic problem in taskis mm -hmm. i know it affected some of our competitors uh, and what we have done is to introduce very very firm and uh, straightforward way of dealing with uh, suppliers we have made it clear to suppliers how the processes they need to go through first of all to list their products we've made it very clear mm -hmm. and we've actually used technology to do that so that they don't feel that they need to compromise somebody to have their product listed mm -hmm. the second step in in, the, in the buying is usually getting the order now you've got your product listed for selling how do you get your order some suppliers have felt in the past in the retail industry that they need to compromise somebody to have the order or even a bigger order than um, uh, what is 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 a uh, is a correct order so the corruption around uh, buying comes mm. in when people feel that they don't have a fair uh, hearing on how they should go through the process. The process mm -hmm. is not fair or it's subjective. So what we have done is to make a very clear process on how suppliers can list and get orders for their products. And finally, which is key, how to get payment once you have supplied. Mm -hmm. Because again, suppliers have supplied in, in, in many uh, supermarkets are not being paid on time. So we've made that chain to be very clear and very clean um, so that we dissuade people from feeling that they have to compromise somebody to get paid. And I think that goes to address 90% of the problems around the supply chain and why mm -hmm. people need to compromise somebody um, to get uh, business with taskies. And uh, last question, Dan, as we also get your closing thoughts. Yeah. Um, you came in from Naivas to join Taskets. And um, the perception out there is you still have interests at Naivas and uh, you're working now for a competitor. Um, how does this cloud how you make your judgment and how you run the business? Um, just a small correction. I didn't come from Naivas. Mm -hmm. I actually worked in Taskies for, for some time mm -hmm. before. Uh, and then I left in 2012 to go and start my business. Mm -hmm. and, and the business is called Speed Capital. Mm -hmm. So before I came to Taskies, I was running Speed Capital. Um, and so it's true that I have interest in Speed Capital. Um, yeah. But nowadays in Speed Capital, we again did a very, a very good um, governance process, appointed a CEO. So I sit in the board mm -hmm. um, of Speed Capital as a founder. Uh, and therefore, I don't see confliction between my previous uh, position and, and what I'm doing in task is right now. Mm -hmm. I think right now I'm applying my energies 100% uh -huh. uh, to the retail industry. Yeah. Many thanks. Yeah. And I uh, apologize for that small hitch. Actually, the, it's not a hitch. Uh, yeah. It's my friend, yeah. Willie Kimani, who is now in, 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 in Uchumi, is the one who was in. Correct. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, you for that clarification. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's been a pleasure and uh, we wish you all the best as you mark Christmas yeah. and uh, we do hope that the retail sector will continue to remain resilient. We now want to take a quick commercial break but DJ Will is still with us. DJ Will, take us home.